Hello peeps, Dragon here, welcome back to the ninth episode of my city Skylines. Let's play in the wonderful city of Draken. As you can see on that crowded highway, we have a real disaster going on. It's the tourist apocalypse hitting our city hard by flooding our city with tourists. Now, before we dive into today's topic, I would like to continue with some good habits. Meaning the shout out of this video going out to Donny Graham, she basically asked for or another purple house in our city. The agency ensured me it's the same color, but because of the wooden facade, the color tone is just slightly shifted. Anyway, you let me know if you want to have it. Back on how to tackle such a tourist apocalypse. There are basically three things we could do. First thing uh, I'd like to try out is building an actual tourism district. The idea behind that being that adding hotels to our city makes the tourists which are in there stay longer. If they stay longer and the city is just able to attract like let's say 800 tourists but 600 of them are already staying in the hotels so each day only additional 200 would come through the highway. By putting up that thing, we basically could reduce the stress on our highway, given that adding a tourism district would not attract even more tourists. Hope that works. Let's try that out. In order for this to work, the tourists need to be in the city for quite a while, which is also the reason why we are setting this up at 6 p.m. on a Saturday. The first thing we need to do to make this work is expanding our road network. So you saw me setting up this roundabout and also those two tunnel entrances left and right in the direction of the bridge. I had to put those in right now when we are going to do the changes, but they are pretty much part of the bigger plan for how I want the city to operate. Because the main purpose of the bridge is to transfer goods from our industry part of the map into our commercial zone. The main distribution then is going to be done by the warehouses, but I want the bridge and this starting underground tunnel there to um, be the fastest way to deliver the goods uh, from our industry section of the city to this kind of warehouse district that is residing within the commercial area. So it's just proper planning ahead, I guess. Right now I'm just continuing the road layout kind of as we have it on the first part of our commercial zone. And I'm going to have to expand it just far enough so we can have another one of those raised intersections. And of course we must not forget to connect it, especially for walkability purposes, over the uh, roundabout to all the other sections of this commercial area. I'm quite pleased with the distance from to the roundabout so let's put in our raised intersection here making sure we get all the angles correct and all the heights so I'm also copying like from the other raised intersection on the top edge of the screen and last but not least we also must not forget to extend our public transportation network over to the new district now everything we need to do is like watch it grow and wait through the night and hope that it kind of releases a good amount of stress from our highway. So waiting through the night probably is going to be a bit boring so I'm just you know skipping from one highlight to another. So normally I would fill such a gap with uh, music and a bit of time lapse but today I would like to use the opportunity to excuse myself for delaying this episode for so long. Now, kind about here the editing after the recording ended and then at my wife's business there was the opportunity to make some money like the weeks uh, creeping up to Christmas. So uh, yeah, we pretty much worked all the week including the weekends. and. Then, when uh, Christmas came, uh, we pretty much uh, had everything done and the few days um, after Christmas I was kinda dead, like not literally, but 
maybe if you have ever worked for um, long hours a day for quite a period then you probably know what I'm talking about then another opportunity came up to do the exact same thing with another two work days for New Year's Eve so we took that opportunity again because you know that's pretty much a crappy year so you need to do what you can <laughs> and then I had to visit some relatives and had to get back uh, you know from the dead kind of um, still in this process but today is the 6th of January and uh, now it kind of is getting better so that's why editing continues now like after I don't know four five weeks of the entire five hour footage sitting on my hard drive so now my job is to compress all that into about a 20 minute episode and yeah that's what I'm doing right now so I've been recording the entire night after creating the tourism district and looking for how the traffic would evolve kind of and here I noticed that hmm I don't like this lane merging so let's change that and this really helped out tremendously so at around 3.45 a.m. the entire traffic kind of has dissolved so still not sure if our tourism district helps but at least for this day we are safe so let's see what happens in the morning welcome back roughly three hours later sunday morning and as we can see traffic's building up again at least at this point i really learned to hate those caravan vans camping vans stuff like that and we need to think about another option of how to get all those tourists off our highways so the next idea being maybe it's not the amount of tourists that's causing all this chaos maybe it's more related on how they travel i mean a single car doesn't do as much let's say damage in traffic sense as those big caravans and you know the cars which also have like this camping hangar stuff like that because those are they're like trucks they pretty much clock up our transportation system so how about we just make them use different kinds of transportation and we got rail unlocked so how about we just give them a second option to enter and leave our city besides the highway before we can do that though we first need to make some space and then we can add a station in this case i decided to use an asset i downloaded just because it is a small suburban station which hopefully will suit us perfectly okay so here's the thing they do not arrive by car and we don't want more cars in our city so how about we could make them switch right over to public transportation and only be able to use that now how to prevent them from using their cars you need to know that before they can use their cars they have to be pedestrians then they step on the street pull the car out of their pocket hop into it and then drive away now if the part of the street they could walk on they cannot walk on highways because they have no sidewalks if they arrive at the street and they could uh, pull their car out but then they could drive nowhere because cars are not allowed on our highway then their only option is to use public transportation so we are going to add the monorail and the bus here and also don't forget when adding such services that you need to up the amount of trains that is operating on this line 
As everything, this is going to need a while to show its effect. So how about we are doing what I was planning to do in this episode before this entire tourism disaster came up. Regulars of the show might already have an idea where this is going because we are visiting our old industrial area which is no longer present there and made room for something. You may have guessed it, we are going to put in a park area, a city park to be more precise which fits perfectly to our today's episode of dealing with traffic because the passes of the park are going to connect through this highway barrier which is between the commercial and the residential area and thus connecting both of these areas together with lots of cycling and walking opportunities. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of abusing this for generating money, so we are just lowering the cost to what normal public transportation would cost. Now I tried recording this with a static camera, but due to the nature of the project trying to put something between existing structures, I had to change angles very very often, uh, especially when it comes uh, to connecting below the highway. Also the sheer scale of the project made it difficult to frame it on the screen while placing stuff accurately. I was just thinking about, you know, screw this, I'm just going to show you the park after it is done at the end of the video. So it is 2 p.m. early afternoon and I was looking at if our rail monorail combination would enable lots of tourists to come and leave our city. As we can see for now the stations can handle the amount of travelers pretty well. I'm not sure whether this added form of transportation would not encourage even more tourists to visit our city. But the interesting question is, does it help releasing stress from our highway? Hmm, well, sort of. At least it didn't make things worse. Given the time of the day, that result is actually pretty good. We are going to keep an eye on that, but in the meantime, there's another thing we could do since we have a park gate now. We have unlocked the city arch, so this increases the amount of tourists that can travel our roads by 5%. So let's try that as well. Yep, I think we're onto something here. It's getting better. But then the six o'clock evening rush hour hit us hard. So I decided we need to do more. Which brings us to our third option, providing different ways into our city. Because normally if you have just one highway leading into your city and that bears 100% of the traffic and then you add a second one, traffic possibly is going to split up so both of them have to bear less. Now we have a straight highway here and the AI always tries to use the fastest way so it's hard to compete with a straight line. But what we can do is we could build a second kind of highway system which then does not connect to the same endpoint instead like spreading up and giving the vehicles more direct routes to where they actually want to go. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Also because of competing with a straight line is pretty difficult uh, because it's the shortest connection between two points. I am using mods here, traffic manager, and I'm just going to ban certain vehicles from using the initial highway. I'm going to ban the cars vehicles, so tourists and commuters and stuff like that. And because of lots of tourists are going to use them, this is the perfect scenario for also adding a toll booth in there. We don't want to tax our trucks because they are doing a big load of our economy already, but uh, well, probably some of them are going to use it anyway because providing the shortest route for the AI seems to be uh, a no-brainer no matter the cost. You probably would have the option to just buy a tile with a pre-existing highway connection to a different part of the highway system that's already on the map, which 
then would make the vehicles being able to approach the city from different angles and thus splitting the traffic. I have plans for my tiles, so that's why I'm using this option and actually have to force certain vehicles off our initial highway. Now after having done all three options, I think that adding the rail station and directly connected to public transport is the best solution. And yeah, I agree, the last solution is pretty much like smashing peace with a sledgehammer thank you for watching commenting liking and subscribing use the word of today in the comments just for fun it just approves that you are 20 and out elite and those people also in the 20 and out elite will also recognize you as such have a wonderful day and we are going to see each other next time bye